All right. So, welcome everyone to episode 12 of the Vibin' Podcast. You know, it's a little off-the-cuff episode today. We got just done with a little bit of recording. Now, we figured, why not record just a little little extra episode? We got, we got. of course, you can see the boy here today, Stu, of course. Whoa. We got me, Nick, but, you know, sadly, we don't have our other co-host, Caesar, the big C's Vega here, you know, but he had other engagements to apply, uh, uh, to, he had to oblige, you know, he's a big, famous, super uh, music star, you know, of course, so we can't always have him around. Yeah. But in his stead, I think we got a pretty, pretty good solid extra guest to have for this episode, yeah. you know? So I'd like I'd like all of you to please give a warm round of applause for our guest on this episode twelve of Vivin Caesar Big C's Vega. An honor. It's an, an honor. It's an honor, sir. It's an honor. It's an honor. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for coming on our good show today, sir. I would like to. I would like to cheers to you, sir. Today, cheers to the honor and memory. And and service of all of our fellow YouTube brethren who have all faced hardships in these times, and anyone and everyone who could use a little bit more of a uh, of a vibe in their life. <laughs> this 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 eventual right. cheers goes out to you right. and Fuck to it. to you to you. <laughs> figure it out, I'm sure <laughs> to people it. I say. Godspeed. You got a cherry juice, motherfucker. There we go. I'm thirsty. I'm sorry. We're all thirsty. Jesus. That introduction was shit, so why would I cheer? You know what? Them? You know who else is shit? Your mama. You. Oh, and that's goodness. what I'm saying to all of you out there. Oh, wow. Real quick. You can figure that out. While, <laughs> while he figures that out. Stu! Hello. It's been a while. Yeah, it actually has been. It's been a minute. What are you even up to? Um, you know what? I'm getting myself uh, getting myself a new computer. Delayed. All right. Oh, 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 oh. I'm always on the pursuit. Yeah. No, definitely not. Um, but yeah, uh, new computer and just trying to see if there's any possibility of me moving out to Palm Springs again so we can do more productions. Of course. The real estate market is absolute garbage. Yeah. You know, a, lot, a lot of people have been... Have been oh, shit, is it? it it's, it's so bad that... Uh, Your mama. Uh, it's bad. Anyways. Yeah. So yeah, it's it's a hard time out here. Jesus everyone. Christ, but, but we all do. We all do what we can. Oh, there it is. You are fucking. I don't know why it. I fucking took so right. long. <laughs> <That's laughs> <okay. It's okay. laughs> we got it. all good things come in time. Mm. That's what our good Lord yeah, like Jesus the Christ logo, huh? told that us. Took its time to fucking come in. <laughs> on this on this good day, the seventeenth of July, twenty twenty two, the Lord's Day. You know, I think we can all observe that. Every day is the Lord's Day when you're in a house of Christ, such as this. Yeah. Is it, though? I mean, yeah. Why wouldn't it be, you know? Yeah. My my grandfather, who was my, my grandma's husband, not my blood grandfather, he used to say, you know, he when he first met her, he said, I go to church every Sunday. That church was the church of the hair of the dog and it existed right on this corner out here you know where they're where they're building that that new fucking building establishment over there right here on the corner no but go on it's right here you know you, you walk up the street and you turn left and you go down the park is right here on the side with the yeah. fountain the retired park and right here they're building that building center right mm -hmm. on that corner right there was the hair of the dog where it used to be before in in the space before the space it was now see now how it's over here now mm -hmm. it used to be over here right next door to nypd right and before that, in the 70s or whenever my grandma was here, it was right up here on the corner. Oh, okay. And that's where she met him, and that was the church he went to every Sunday. The, the church of Hair of the Dog. Well, it was just the Hair of the Dog. It was a that's bar. Just, that's just, yeah, oh, that's just the church he went to. It was a bar, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And they knew all the people there. It was a great time. That's where she met Margie, I'm pretty sure, because she knew her, Margie's ex-husband, David. She knew him, and then he met Margie, and that's where they met right there, the Hair of the Dog, and, you know. It was the it was the it was the local the local uh, uh, stomping grounds I guess yeah where all the alcoholics hang it no <laughs> yeah that's what yeah. I'm no. so the question I have is were they open on Sunday morning uh probably okay. I have no idea you know it was a, it was it was the 60s 70s you know who who it, it, it was time shit they probably never even things locked were the front door to that yeah. place they're like yeah it's, it's always like, open it's always open it's like norms everyone knows your name true also true. I forgot to mention. What? We're coming back to you from an out, out outside, mostly audio, some video segment. So yeah. welcome back. <laughs> yeah, this is uh, after recording uh, a video that's going to be a little bit different. Well, no, but even we were outside on the patio. We were recording. That was the start of the podcast. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, no, but we're not is... using that bit, though. Oh, what? We're, we're not? not? It's, it's shit, we're not using that bit. Oh, okay. All right, well, it was a good bit. Maybe. Include a clip of it right here. So <laughs> <part> <laughs> of it. Okay. Little, little tiny bits right here. 
All right, so great. It wasn't that great. Do, do send right. it to me so I can, so I can put those. Well, that's going to be his edit right there. That's what you're going to have to do, the boy. It's on your phone. You just, you yeah, just well, I'm going to send it. Oh, yeah, well, that's right. Uh, I'll, I'll do that. I'll do that. <laughs> oh, wait, wait a minute. Yeah, I'll do that part. Wait a minute. <laughs> you can send that, and then he'll take that clip of me, and then he'll send it to me, and I'll just put it in that part. Yes. You feel yes. Anyways, yeah. let's, let's Anyways. get off the topic about that. That's a surprise for everyone. Yeah, that's, a, that's, a, that, 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 that's inside baseball. See, no one wants to know see, about that. You're going to see yeah. my dick. You're, you're going to see Stu and Nick make out. It's, 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 this it's, is it's, honestly stuff that should be reserved for a Patreon, which, you know, we're only at 33 subscribers. Oh, hey. Yeah. Hey. And only four of you check out the podcast from episode 10. But it's but, fine because, you know, it's on a different channel, so that makes sense. Yeah, that's yeah. fine. Do, do we put links to the to, to your channel in the videos? Do you put uh, links? So for the podcast uh, that I put on the um, – well, I've been thinking of moving the podcast over to the Coolest Network, so I think – I've been thinking about it. Oh, yeah. Because okay. okay. that's something that we just all do, and we're all just going joining in on this. So it will be moving. What? <laughs> There's nothing to show here. <laughs> no. We figured it out. We're back. All right. What, what were we, we talking, talking about? Uh, <laughs> fucking, say? Talking about moving the podcast to yeah. here. When I That's think, right. Yeah, I think I will. The Coolest Channel. Because it's, uh, it's getting better. Productions, hopefully. So episode 10 will be the last thing that's up there. Mm-hmm. And then it's going to move over to that Clueless Network. And then we'll see how it's going. All right. The first 10 episodes will be on my channel, Big C's. So go check that out. Yeah, that'll, that'll be the Big C's exclusive. The first 10 hours. Probably more like 11. It's more than 10 Probably hours, like more like yeah. 15 hours. The, more, uh, the original 15 hours of this podcast. <laughs> exclusive to the Big C's YouTube channel. I like, I like the idea of this, this podcast having different iterations of its uh, evolution. Oh, every podcast does, you know? Yeah. It's, 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 everything goes the, through their phases. The thing that I always we've hear... Already, even before that, we've gone through phase. We went from straight audio. Now, two episodes in, we got we got some video now. We're, we're kind of in like the proto-Joe Rogan phase. We're on like... On the couch. I'm going to really. take it a step further. I'm going <laughs> to say we're the new Joe Rogan. We're coming bigger, harder, stronger, faster than little old, Joe, uh, little old Joe, Josephine what if you had over there ever did. three Joe Rogans with regular nipples and hair exactly and they weren't that's as crazy. buff but that's because the, it was oh, it was it was the masculinity God. and muscle mass of one joe rogan dispersed amongst the three it's like uh all it's like it's like it's like it's like, uh, it's like a shadow clone right yeah we're all each of us is a third of joe rogan <laughs> and that's why we're better I, I because know. we can encompass all of his ideas because oh, the thing God. about joe rogan is <laughs> see, <laughs> yeah. a little side this is what we were talking about earlier if you can get me on one subject yes. I'm pa- no, but, so but, passionate, but i'll go on let's let you know let's stop for just one second on <laughs> yeah. that. i just want to say that like I did not pay attention to whatever the fuck you just said for 20, 35 seconds. And here's the thing, Caesar. Not many people do. Hey, except for the people when, who watch this. When, 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 in our group of friends, whenever I'm with anyone, whenever I start to go off, just no one pays attention and they just let me. And that's the best because I can just be me and they can not judge me. <laughs> well, I'm not saying I'm judging you, you know. But deep inside, we don't know who you really are, you know. No, no. No, oh, no. Oh. But anyways, like I was saying, each of us is a third of Rogan. Yeah. So, so whereas he he, he can put all his views Maybe like out to sixteenth uh, of Rogan. Well, so Joe Rogan is one short nozzle, like one tight, tight, tight little nozzle, like yeah. what we experienced just a bit earlier. Oh. And he can only put his views through that one tight nozzle. Yeah. But we three, we're 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 the trifecta. We're the diversification of that nozzle into three separate nozzles. We can identify. We can we can we can we can self actualize as a third of each of those individual personalities of the being we know as Joe Rogan, and and put that into three separate streams of thought and ideologies, which we can draw from and draw conclusions from. Caesar, like you were saying, uh-huh. there's four of us here. I weigh as much as two people. Oh, okay. I see. Uh, I see. Yeah. I'm, I'm so saying. you're the big J. I'm fat. Big J. I think I'm the What the, the fuck do you Lewis mean by big J? Because I'm fucking crazy. And Stu way? seems the most oh, reserved t- and the most you're, libertarian. You're, yeah, you're so talking so about, you're the Dave. Yeah, you're talking Wait. about the Legion of Skanks, yeah, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah Legion of like, Skanks. Yeah. Does, does, does Rogan have a middle name named Lewis? No. <laughs> uh, Rogan <laughs> Lewis fucking. <laughs> Joe Rogan Lewis? Ro- Joe. Joe J. Yeah, baby. Let me get the fuck out of here. Let me suck on the toesy, baby. Let me wrap my phalanges around yours. Let me get that little. Mm. So, to summarize what you're saying, Joe Rogan is like a coax cable, just one copper pipeline, but we're like the, the, the audio video 
combination, the three cables. Yeah, we're, we're, we're the Xbox 360, GameCube. We're a little bit outdated, but, you know, it's got those three if, outputs. If, you know, he's it's got the those Kirk, three separate parts. if he's the Kirkland, we're the great value. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I see. Yeah. 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 If he's the... Uh, here's the part where I try to think of an equal analogy. If he's if he's the if twin he's, if, 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 he, if he's if he's the twin cry. if he's the twin peaks were the deadly premonition. I understand that. So yeah. if, if if he's the I've never I'll, seen either. If he's oh, the, they're both great. If for he's the uh, equal and opposite regions. <laughs> if he's the Albert, then we're the Albert Sons, right? Like you mean Albert Einstein? No, like Albert Albertsons. Oh, well, you said Albert. Yeah, but there's a guy named Albert. He well, started his story in Alberts. No, I get that. his sons took over. I, I get that, but there's oh, no okay. abbreviation for Albertsons that people just call. Hey, you ever been Alberts? Like, what the fuck are you talking about? Like, my neighbor, Albert? or Oh, no, no, you know. Albert. You know how it's... Well, wait, sorry. Albert Sons is an ex, is a condensation of Albert and Sons. I know, but you're saying, like, the way you pronounce it, oh, like, okay. right now, you said Albert Son. It's Albert Sons. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you're right. You're right. Yeah. No, I was just trying to know. Maybe the guy's name is Albertson. No, no. Albert Sons. That's his, no, name. His, name, his name. His name's Albertson. It'd be an interesting name, but because you know how like German, uh, like Swedish and Scandinavian name, it's like it's like you're 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 Gunderson because you're the son of Gunder. His name's Albertson because he's the son of Albert. He's Albertson. That makes more sense. Uh, yeah, I, I, I mean, and he's the, that the son is when he started. It's like yeah, I'm Albertson. My and Albert was a was a fuck all. Fuck him. I'm Albertson. Look, motherfucker. If, if oh. you're looking at it from that perspective, Nick, yes, that's totally fine. I get it. I hear a butt coming. But there it I is. lost my thought, man. Like it's well, just And that means I It win. came in one just like my dad. What can I say? You know, anyway, what? Just like mine too, you know. <laughs> yeah. It'd be like that. Mm-hmm. So uh you, you guys like uh you guys no. like you, you like deal or no deal? Deal or no deal. I don't know how that game works. So, be, a little cool. recap on Deal or No Deal. Mm. It's a game where a bunch of fucking hot ladies they get <laughs> they get their briefcase and you say uh that brief and you get like you, so there's like twenty briefcases right and there's like segments and each briefcase is worth a different amount of money. Yes. And yes, you yes. get rid of each briefcase and you know until you get to like a couple and it's like oh right, I'm gonna pick this one to take home and you get home whatever's in that briefcase and oh. each 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 briefcase you get rid of uh, get rid of. There's the banker, right? Mm-hmm. And the more you get rid of a briefcase, the banker's like, all right, I'll pay you this much right now to stop playing right now because you might get the million. I'm going to pay you a little bit less. You know? So it's a, it's a money game. You know? just, oh, okay. so, so it's yeah, just, What's your point? You're just, at this so point, you're just explaining the, the whole, the whole <laughs> the premise of the game. The host of Deal or No Deal is one actor, comedian, superstar, Howie Mandel. Gotcha. Okay. Co- yes, co- co-star right. of the, one of the famous Hansel and Gretel movies, which I have a DVD copy of, which I have no idea which location of is. And I would like to know where it is. If anyone has a copy, send it to me, please. I would like to watch that movie. Mm-hmm. In that movie, he plays copy. the Sandman. It's a he very doesn't need it. good movie. I need it. I want it no, again. He doesn't need it. it. Anyways, do you guys keep up with Howie Mandel? I only know that he has a YouTube channel because mm-hmm. he had an, a recent interview with, um, uh, what is it, uh, the guy who's on your show. H3H3? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's got, he's, got, he's got a podcast. I think it's with his daughter. He yeah. The podcast with, yeah. Yeah, so I only know that he was on YouTube because of that. However, I do know where the story is going to head. <laughs> Why, okay, did good. he do something or we, what? So that is, thank you for showing that you don't know. Mm-hmm. So, Howie Mandel, uh, well-known actor, comedian, germaphobe. He's a big germaphobe. Did you know that, Caesar? He's a big yeah, germaphobe. Yeah, he's a big germaphobe. Yeah, so... Um, I get it. <laughs> recent, recently... Uh, Howie Mandel has been up to up to some uh, shenanigans, shenanigans, some tomfoolery, mm-hmm. some chicanery up on uh, the social media platform known as TikTok. You know TikTok, Caesar? You like yeah, TikTok? I love TikTok. Yeah, you love it, No, right? I don't love TikTok. Right, well, I, 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 I like uh, YouTube shorts more. A lot of people love following uh, actors and comedians and famous people on TikTok. I know, you know? it's very popular. So people. Howie Mandel, whether, whether this was in some... Honest and totally sincere act to find some information, or whether this was meme shit post clickbait. Either way, it's great. But Howie Mandel recently posted a video on his TikTok of him, him, and in the back. You know, you can put pictures in the background of you, and you're just like reacting or whatever. Uh, yeah, yeah. So he yeah. put a picture of him, and in the background was a picture of his friend's prolapsed anus. <laughs> and he said on the TikTok, he says, "Hey, I was working out with my friend, 
and this happened. Is this COVID related? <laughs> if so, what do we do about it? That's interesting. And Howie Mandel posted that video of his friend's prolapsed anus to his TikTok where God and all his congregation could see. Yeah. Is it still You can find it, I'm sure. Up? Not on TikTok, no, but you can find it. I guarantee you can find it. Finally. If we look here, we can find it. We can blur it out. We can all watch it right now. In fact, I'm very much inclined to do so. Do I very much want to do that. You find <laughs> Thank it on you. Reddit, to be Thank you. With you. Yes, just go on Google and look up Howie Mandel prolapse anus video. No, I hope I'll my child with porn with doesn't come. No. Oh yeah, Jesus. I'll be honest with you. In the last month, I've seen like 18 people die on Reddit. Just I mean, <laughs> Reddit. <been> boring. <laughs> But like it's crazy on there. Reddit is Reddit's got Reddit, have you seen a uh, narcos Reddit? No, I don't think I've there's, a, there, to. There's, there's a Reddit <laughs> where you can you can see like narcos oh, like, like, like the fucking internet. executions yeah. and like chainsaws and knives and like they get like an exacto blade like a fucking like a like a thing you know and just cut their throat with it and you know just... well, I'm not connected to the internet. Oh, I, want, I can connect it real quick. I can do it real quick. Well, it's fine. I would say just show me it on your phone. Oh I'll god, yeah, I guess, oh, yeah, yeah, I guess, yeah, yeah, I guess that's right. We can find it. Definitely okay. don't have to blur it out. We're we can all yeah. just see it. As a fact, it's been talked before in some of our videos. Nick's internet is at his house. This is where we are, it's by the way, garbage. in an undisclosed location. Uh, two ninety five. Yeah, two ninety five West. Two ninety five. Of, uh, yeah, off of Peterson in North Carolina. I thought yeah. you knew the meme address. Uh, What's that? What is it? Uh, tr- uh, the, if you want to lease in a key. Come to 295. Uh, I guess they didn't give the whole address, though. It's a meme. Don't worry. It's a shit meme, I guess, because I've never heard of it. Oh. <laughs> no, no, but yeah, Nick's no. internet is fucking terrible. Oh, fuck you. It's not. It's, it's, it's censored, you fucker. <laughs> I would like to see the reaction if I could, anyways. Dude, well, I, you're going to get a reaction I from hated it. it when, 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 when we got to do this one. Not when we have got to, because we like doing this. But when it happens, and like, I really have to pee. And I hate leaving during a podcast. Off. Yeah. But I really have to pee. So we were yeah, no, it's Oh, God. Yeah, it's fine. I can't hold it. Uh, Ow. Howie Mandel full video. Let's look that up. Yeah, I'm not going to. These are on YouTube. You're not going to have it on YouTube, you fuckers. Give me, give me a Daily Motion link. Give me a Vimeo link. I'll see this fucking prolapse on Vimeo. I swear to God, you know. Yeah, go to Vimeo. TikTok. What the, I, I, I would if I got a link, Caesar. Believe you me, I would if I got a link. This, this fucking guy over here, you know, he thinks I don't fucking try. This fucking guy. I fucking try and I fucking try for him. I try for you people. I try this guy right here but he edits I fucking try he doesn't believe I try this fucking machine around fucking here. he doesn't he doesn't believe I fucking try I'll show him I'll fucking I'll show this motherfucker how much I fucking try he'll fuck he won't believe how much I fucking try this fuck oh. you are you are three different shades of, of skin color you are three different shades of skin color your face is red your legs are so white and your arms are somewhere in the middle I just hear someone just yell at me. Oh, uh, <laughs> I'm assuming you found it. No, uh, we, no, but you'll hear later. <laughs> yeah. what what I just made an observation about Nick that was so awful. You, you'll hear it later. Oh, no, say it. No, you'll hear it later. It'll be funnier. Pizza. <laughs> I can't fucking find it. It's all just fucking reactions and shit. Oh, let, me look, let, me look, let, me look, let me look up on the videos tab of Google. YouTube, you, YouTube, 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 Newsweek. I think it's just laughing. It gets you a little, a little. Yeah, it does. Uh, you, your blood rushes, you know. Oh yeah. Yeah. Is that what is that what they tell the Jews <sighs> to make them feel better? Yeah, I mean, I'll definitely be fanning them off because you know you got to feed oxygen to the fire. So yeah, exactly. Yeah. Not a lot of people know about that. You can, you know, when you're making a campfire, you really got to feed that fire some oxygen. I yeah, because that way it helps it. Uh, That's helps why it. they got the, the fucking bellows in there. You see, in the yeah. old fucking time, you shit, you got to put air in that bitch. Fire needs oxygen. It needs some fucking fuel besides just the wood, you fucker. Yeah, besides the juice and the wood. Or, yeah, and damn, it all burns something. nicely either way. Air, Chemicals, the gas. Juice, it all comes whatever. down to the basic elements, the periodic table. That's why My science is so tape, fucking great. It doesn't great. matter what burns. It, it, exactly. It comes down to what is it? Salt, mercury, and sulfur. I know a lot about alchemy now because I was oh doing, look at this chemist over here because Jesus. I, because I was doing research on Dark Souls lore. <laughs> uh, a lot of what? It has to do with with uh, alchemy, yeah. What? I don't think so. If you watch, uh, it, it it came up a couple times. <gasps> he found it off. <gasps> I found. Ladies and gentlemen, if this isn't enough of an advertisement for Reddit, you can find anything on Reddit. Yeah. Anything at all. Yes, sir. 
Uh, I found my only bird. Oh my god. You found it or what? I sure did. Oh, All right. Geez. So I'm gonna show it to who? Who? Who wants to see first? Let's let's. Da, 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 I mean, round two of the game. We're gonna I mean, rock, we'll both rock paper scissors. <laughs> who gets to see first? I like this. I like. Let's go with that. I like All right, scissors. Rock paper scissors. Oh, we'll oh so we're gonna go rock paper scissors shoot. Okay. okay. That's where that's rules we're going for. Official right. league rules right. here. One or two. One or sudden death. Sorry, three rounds. Oh uh, yeah, best two out of three. Okay. Two out of three. All right. Rock paper scissors shoot. Ooh, that's one for Stu. One for Stu. Is that first? All right. Sooner? What, so you get to pick. Right. Winner's cool. choice. Rock, Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Oh, oh fine, we're fine. one and one here. All right. Here it Steady. comes down to, ladies and gentlemen. We got it. The last round in the Rock, paper, scissors, best trade of three to see how Mandel's Pro Labs video on TikTok was released <laughs> and, and uh, removed from everyone on the internet. This is the last time to see it. One of these two boys will see it right now first. They'll both see it. Who will see it first? Maybe or not. The winner, maybe not. Let's go. God, right. Are you fucking dug it? Yes. No. Rock, paper, scissors, scissors shoot. shoot. Oh, it's high, ladies and gentlemen. My God, never, never has the competitive sport of rock, paper, scissoring seen a dilemma like this. A tie in this in the third round, the best two out of three. My God, we have to go into overtime. This is unprecedented. Right, right, right. Gentlemen, please continue. I have to see the end. I'm sweating so much. One of us has to lose. Rock, rock paper, paper, scissors, scissors shoot. shoot. Okay. Oh! Uh, Caesar's Big Caesar's Vega, our, our guest and co-host tonight on Vibin. Thank you so yeah. much for appearing, and I, I'm happy to announce you this win in this regional Rock, Paper, Scissors tournament to see the Prolapse video on Howie Mandel's TikTok that was uh, uh, removed and is available on Reddit. What do you have to say for yourself? Honestly, I'm high, so I'm not here. Most of the time, I'm in and out. So perfect. Yeah. Would you like to see this video first or second? Because uh, you're going it. to I'll see it. i watch it second. Okay, perfect. perfect. I can watch it first. Cool, cool, cool. Cool. All right. Then, uh... Stu... It's gonna see the video. How do we do this? So my face up here. Okay, yeah. I'm just gonna. Okay, cool. Oh, wow. My friend Neil bent over. This happened. Wait. Does somebody know? Am I? Do I already? Wait. I think I. I think I kind of understand what I'm saying. Okay, that's that's a prolapse stain. That's the seam. That is the prolapse stain. That is the colon and inner, inner, just inner asshole, just coming out of an anus. What's the red thing? This is just just, is short internal organs. No, I mean the it's red. all internal organs. Yeah, everything outside of that ten, that brown, that red internal organ colon. Oh, okay, wow. It all came out. Nick, email me that link to that right now. Uh, we'll put a little second of that. I'm saying this right here. No, you will not. They can. You can find it if you want it. Here you go. When my friend Neil bent over, this happened. Does somebody know? Is this COVID related? And if it is, what do we do about it? <laughs> wow! Uh, that sure was a, uh, that sure was a prolapse stain. Jesus Christ! Are we recording? Let me, let me just make sure. Yes, Nick. Let's let's just, just make sure. I just want to know. We got to put the vibe and logo back. And fuck you, you hot show. Yeah, We're talking about going. the prolapse stain. Fuck you. I'm curious, Caesar. Do you see stuff like that often? <laughs> no, Surpri- surprisingly mm-hmm. not. I'm... See, me and Stu do. Yeah. We see, we see decapitation and beheading videos all the time. Just bombings yeah, in Iraq yeah, and Ukraine. Yeah, no, I'm not into that, Jack. Just yeah. morbid, the removal of a life from the mortal coil. That's, you know, it's it, it, it does something to you. It's interesting when it gets caught on camera and it's like, oh, you can just Google some words and yeah. it's right there in front <laughs> You of can you. just go on Reddit and just look up r slash uh, narcos footage and lo and behold you will find some narcos footage i like the high profile shock stuff because it's like oh this is something that a lot of people have experienced collectively yeah Yeah. like howie mandel's display of a prolapsed anus on tiktok i think maybe he just didn't know what his friend sent him so here's the thing right it's either he was looking for actual medical advice or he knew because in which case it's Hilarious. <laughs> it's already super funny, but if he knew he was like, I'm posting a prolapse video, this is gonna fuck yeah. a lot of people up. If he knew, no, hilarious. Definitely, definitely, definitely. High quality, just thank I'm, you, Howie Mandel. I'm pretty sure that he just did it because he thought it would be funny. Because I was watching a video of him last night, surprisingly. Huh. Weird that you were talking about Howie Mandel when I was watching a video last night. He was on the uh, uh, Answer the Internet. I don't know if you guys have ever seen that, but they get like, so like comedians and like other celebrities on this channel and they just ask him questions that people from the internet ask them. Mm-hmm. And so when the way that Howie Mandel was answering about shit, he was just funny, like didn't give a fuck. He said, he's like, I don't give a fuck. I don't remember about what he said about something. Yeah. But I think about um, 
showing off his wealth or something like that. He's like, I don't give a fuck. I'm filthy rich. <laughs> <laughs> just the way he sounded, like, just honest about everything. Like, I, he could seem like the kind of guy who would pull a joke like that. Yeah. You know. Yeah. You know, yeah. But I don't know him personally, so I, I don't really, you know. The one interpretation I have of him is he's, because he works, he's working, like, the show business industry. It's like, he would know not to do that. You know what I mean? He knows what, what does and what doesn't fly on, on uh, broadcast. You can't show that. And he knows that kids are on TikTok. But I yeah. can also see him not giving a fuck and just being like, you know what? You know what's going to get me a lot of attention? Prolapse on on, on on the TikTok. Let's get a prolapse on the TikTok. Yeah. You know? Nick, why are you bringing your uh, N64 cartridge over This here? is the show. I mean to play this game. And by putting this on video, that means I will play this fucking game and beat it. I've been meaning to fucking do it. And now that I've said it on video, it will be put on the internet forever. I will play Banjo fucking Tooie. I love Banjo Kazooie. I will play this game. I promise you people. Make it on the channel, but on my own personal time, I will do it. God damn, how deep was Thank the you. hit you took? Because that whole thing you talked about, uh, just puff after puff oh. coming out. I was oh, like, oh, fuck. He'll, he'll never play that game. If we're being honest, he's never going to play that game again. Well, you will have to get an emulator. Why? Running. Well, I mean, unless you want to... Oh, yeah, you have an Elgato, right? I've, I've, oh, to record it? Oh, yeah, no. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no we don't have to get a separate it. part for that. Uh, on the Switch, I have the... I bought the better Nintendo Switch Online, so I have the N64. Oh, yeah, that's And that, right. that has Banjo-Kazooie, the first one, but not the second one. So, I mean, uh, we, we could do the first one. The first one is fun. Comment down below if you guys want to see Nick play Banjo-Kazooie. We are... I, I already have a list of games I'm going to play after Kingdom Hearts and Dante's Inferno, so it'll come after those, probably, but, you know, just maybe maybe I'll get to it eventually. If you don't care about anything, then... Then why are you even here? Yeah. S stay subscribed, believe. Maybe? Nah. No, just stay here. Watch it anyways. Put it on the background. Yeah, the view you can anyways. open up another tab and mute this one. Yeah, yeah. Let's be honest. You right click. I do that sometimes. Open a new what? tab. Forget just, about it. Check yeah. back when it's done, then close it. When I, when I see a YouTuber, but they make a video that I'm not really into, I'll just watch the video, but I'll mute and I'll on a different tab. We're going be, to become that channel that people have the, not the notifications on for, but they still don't watch, you know? They're just like, eh, I'll watch it later. You do put notifications on for any channel? Yeah, for a lot. Really? Oh, I, oh, dude, I like I've told you before. I do it either. Like I've told Nick before. For, I literally use YouTube for everything. So yeah. these, because I don't watch cable anymore. I fucking hate TV, you know. Well, so then I can watch everything that I like seeing on YouTube, like like cultural stuff, like seeing Japan and like other places of the world that I'd like to go to. Things about music, music theory, comedians, because I really love comedians. I listen to a lot of podcasts on YouTube. I use YouTube for everything because that's the platform that's ultimately going to reign supreme in yeah. 10 years. It's just going to be YouTube on every TV that you can get. Like right now, if you have a smart TV, even then later, if you don't have a smart TV, it will be in there in some way because cable companies only have the one reason to stay up right now, and that's for sports. For yeah. those big buffs who want it. But even then, the sports people have apps that they're already doing and they post everything there that you can watch. So in time, I'm going to tell you, like with how, with everything, how it started with radio to TV and now it's just going to be YouTube. It's all just going to be, it's that progression that we have to see that's going to happen. Do you think even streaming services will die out to YouTube? I want to imagine a future where they do. That's something I don't know because that 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 would be a lot of that would be YouTube and streaming are a whole other fields because streaming involves like actual IPs and also yeah, properties. Yeah, exactly. So I'm gonna YouTube can do that as well, but mm -hmm. there, a lot of people aren't gonna give their actual. If, if someone wants to get an actual like show they want to produce onto a platform, they're not gonna put on YouTube. They're gonna put on Hulu or Netflix or fucking whatever. So those, those are two completely different. You, yeah, YouTube's yeah. its own sort of beast. But to say that, but uh, to your point, Caesar, why well, have the bell? When you got your subscription box, you can just take your subscriptions and it's all right there anyways. Well, I mean, I, either way. You just want to know as soon as it pops yeah, up? Yeah, I like seeing that. Do you That's watch it as soon as it comes up? Uh, not for all of them that I have turned on for. So I have to go back, maybe turn some off. But like for the ones that I do like all the time, when it comes on like Super Mega, I'm like, oh shit, I got to get to that. When mm -hmm. I see something from Sea Dog VA, I'm like, oh shit, I got to get to that. I love, uh, I got to get to that. Game Grumps here, there, there. Oh yeah, definitely. But here, here's the thing though. Even if they do get uploaded, I'm sure there's many times where you get a notification, oh, Super Mega's uploaded part 26 of fucking Truck Simulator. It's like, oh, I would love to watch that, but I'm doing this thing right now. I'm going to watch it in another hour and a half. I'm going to do something, you know? Right? No, I get what you're saying, but like even then, when I load up into YouTube, the video that I have the notification on for, 
pops up on my homepage already, like almost at the top right there. Oh. It's either at the top that's or just like the, Well, because the algorithm knows you watch a lot of Super Mega, so it's going to put the most Super Mega content up at the top of the homepage anyways. But that has nothing to do with your... But I know, I rarely button, click you know? the subscription box that I have subscriptions for. Very rarely when I'm bored really? and, I'll go, and I'll go there. Really? Like, right, here it goes, it's what I got. Wow. Because no, there's just specific things that I know, like when it comes out and other things that I just watch. But, but the I specific it. things you want to watch are the things you should be subscribed to. Which is I why am, you would go to, to, to the subscription boxes to see all those things from the I people you want to see to things from. I'm subscribed to have the notifications on for But why wouldn't you want to see the subscription feed to see everything? Because what if something that they upload isn't up like, like by the algorithm? It might not get pushed as much. I guess that's where you get the fucking notification bell from. But again, again, that comes a problem of, well, I'm going to watch this later. You forget about it. It's in the subscription feed an hour ago, but you don't see that. Well, yeah. The homepage or whatever is at the top. You miss out on that because you don't look in your subscription feed to see that the, thing you might have missed. For the most part, when I get a notification from YouTube for a video that I watch, I, you know, I swipe it away. I'm like, oh, great, I'm going to watch that. I either watch it then or like I swipe it away because you said I'm doing something. But most of the time when I load into YouTube and either refresh or anything, that video that I wanted to watch, I had the notification on for, is somewhere between either the very top or like the first five videos that come in, mm -hmm. you know? And so that way I can see that that video is there. But if I see another video that I want to watch, then I'm like, okay, cool. I can just watch that other video first. And then it's already going to be on the timeline there, that other thing. Or they're also go to that one. And then I'll just refresh it. And then it usually brings up the things that I mostly watch newer versions of. Or the newest mm -hmm. things right to the top already, right again. I just refresh it. That's just what I like to do. True, but... <laughs> <laughs> I for for just for the record, I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why you care. <laughs> yeah, why do you care? I don't care? know why either. But that's, that's what I'm wondering. Now I want to give my two cents too, though. It's just interesting. <laughs> okay, so you go. Uh, I'll stop. I was gonna say, I just, I just write the algorithm. I just go to the home page. I don't oh, know what I am. Oh, you wow. Oh, oh you're low loose. Oh, damn. Oh, wow. We can't we're, we're, to we're, anything. We're every part of the spectrum. I don't know. Who I am and who I'm not subscribed to. I'll oh be boy. watching like five or ten videos from somebody who I just was. Oh hey, look, are you interested in the way uh, life began on Earth? That sounds cool. So so here's what it is on on, on the spectrum. I far left subscription box. That's yeah. where I live. That's where yeah. I go every time. Subscription and watch later. Because if I'm not watching right now, it's in my watch later. So these are here in the middle. You guys subscribe stuff, and you'll you'll see most of the stuff you're subscribed to. But you'll see the homepage. That'll put up most of the things you subscribe to, but also new things you're not subscribed to. You'll right, see a bit right. of everything. <laughs> Stu's on homepage all day, and then goes to the watch to to the, uh, to the recommended rivals. links. He doesn't go yeah. fuck. Stu, Stu, Stu starts at cooking mm -hmm. videos and then gets to fucking uh, uh, yeah, grassy knoll right. conspiracy. Oh, right, yeah. <laughs> he, he, he's, he, he's riding that wave all day, every yeah, day. Every day. Wow. <laughs> yes, you really think about it. It really does go from that spectrum, how yeah. we all use it differently. Yeah. Every, see, this is, what, this is what everyone says. Not everything is black and white. There's gray in there, too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I'm the gray. Exactly. Yeah. And I'm the white. Because white and I'm is black. white. If you think about it too, if we're going from left to right, you're the you're most democratic. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm just right there. That Stu's a Republican. I'm pretty. Want to go from that one? Stu, Stu, Stu is a hardcore fucking centrist, dude. You know yeah. how I feel about abortion? I don't have a feeling. Exactly. <laughs> I, don't, I don't got a uterus. I don't got a care. That's just, that's just really funny. I don't give a shit. Yeah. Yes, no, <laughs> don't affect me now. But that's a big thing, man. She's fucking broad. But the thing that I, that I kept seeing a lot of posts about, especially women that I follow on Instagram, when like, Roe v. Wade obviously got overturned, they were so offended. And I understand it, to be completely offended by it, by the fact that, you know, uh, that they're, they're not having the rights to be able to do what they want with their body. Yeah. But uh, most, some of them women thought it was everywhere. But the bill was only overturned in some states. Yeah, but that's yeah. what makes it hard because if you don't live in the states that allow abortion and if you mm -hmm. live somewhere far away from that certain place, then that does become a problem because, you know, some people can maybe wouldn't be able to afford to move right then and then and then and then and there, you know. Mm -hmm. And then we, when that happens, too, each state has a different time when you can abort it, you know, because everybody always there's always that argument about it when that abortion comes up. When should you kill it so it's not right and everything? Yeah. But then it's it just comes to that point, you know, it, it makes things difficult. For uh, a lot of women. Not every woman, I believe. You know, but a lot of women. Shit. <coughs> Does it suck? Yeah, I think so. Because it came out back in 1973? Uh, 76? Four? Some, some, around that time. Around it was, uh, and even then it was a hot topic. Because people were just like, well, what do we do with this? And especially <laughs> society. We're going to give women more rights? <laughs> yeah, especially society at the time, too, you know. Which is, it, which is just 
uh, fa- it, it, it baffles me that seeing like that progression from how like society has changed from like the 70s or even from the 40s to the 70s and from the 70s to the 90s to the 90s to now just not even to, from, the, from the 90s to the 2000s and the 2000s to now it's it, it's interesting you know because mm-hmm. you see that shift about what things that people were freely that that they that they freely wanted to talk about and they're allowed to talk about it and now it's just that to this point where like you know we got to be uh uh, we got to ha- make sure we don't offend anybody. This, this is, PC yeah. culture is really hardcore. It's like I was talking to Nick about this when it comes to comedy movies. Like yeah. how comedy movies will never be the same again as how they were back in like 2012 and below. When, 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 I, when I, you, you, I'm looking at like Ted when it came out in like 2010. Movies below that, role models like 2008. Things before that like Super Bad, Pineapple Express, like and those things like that. Couples therapy or couples retreat, whatever it is. There's not going to be movies like that anymore when it comes to comedy, and I fucking hate that. Yeah. Because it's not going to be funny. Because you can't offend anybody because it's just a joke. <laughs> like legit, it's just a joke. These things shouldn't offend anyone. And you have the right, obviously. If you don't like it, then fucking leave. Don't yeah. be that guy who fucking goes sees a movie or something. This is just an example now. Go see a movie. And for, for like 15 to 20 fucking minutes, and they don't like it, and they leave it, and they go comment about it somewhere, say it's a complete piece of shit because it offends this, 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 and that, when you shouldn't have a right to say anything at all because you weren't there for the whole thing. You only saw 12, 15, 30 minutes of it, but you didn't experience everything and how it could lead to something relating back to that. Mm-hmm. And then they just fucking complain about it, and uh, it's a it, whole oh, fucking contingency of bullshit just pisses well, me so off. So it's kind of interesting... T- it's kind of interesting the way things are in the 70s compared to now. There's, there's a lot of parallels, if you think about it in a lot of ways. Protests, people fighting for probably the same exact rights they were fighting for now. Um, a lot of people trying new lifestyles, you know, like the hippies. But also, like like you're saying, things are getting a lot more conservative in ways that you probably don't think of. Like, you can't really speak freely about certain things that offend people right but also a lot of people don't want to hear how your opinions on abortion or, or or police or whatever so it's kind of becoming a thing where you just don't really talk and you avoid certain subjects it's kind of becoming conservative overall it's like we're regressing yeah. in a weird way you know it is a weird way because it should be something that you know that everybody can have a free mind to speech of what they want to say about it and you can like some comedians you know they don't give a fuck so they're just going to say it anyways yeah. but like it should be not just towards uh, people who have a voice like that comedians you know obviously whatever kind of following they have or even celebrities that go into that thing but you know everybody should be able to say something like that you know and you can but if you say it in the wrong place in the wrong situation like here we can talk about it because we're just in this room right now but yeah. when this goes out this will be technically be everywhere so you know whoever watches it could be offended by something that we do say too you know mm-hmm. and at that point we are giving our voice and we are offending people but you know it's just something that we not not that we have to do but it's something that we should do sometimes i think you know yeah yeah yeah, and not not not, to, not not even to say that we should offend people. We just we just should say the things we are thinking, and ideally, we are saying what we are in our, we are saying what we are thinking on an innermost level, so that in you can determine if like oh this person is actually a racist, or this person is oh this person is just saying something you know they're trying to be funny or just saying some sort of middle middle of the ground thing. You know? Yeah. No, I agree with what you're saying. You know, it shouldn't be like that. Like. Uh, of course, or like sometimes or whatever, whatever, however you said at the end, I can't think of it. It just left me right now. Yeah. But someone's gonna get a clip of that at some point in the future of where I just said that thing before you corrected the last thing that I said. So they're gonna get that clip. Like, see, he's a piece <laughs> of shit. Because then, but then they don't go forward to listen to anything else. That's yeah. the point I was kind of trying to get. Just, yeah. it's just it's just context and the, just seeing the way in which people say things and the words they use to express them and the way in which they do it. Because people people can say one thing and so you see in politicians a lot of people can say one thing and mean another or mean one thing and say you know, there's a lot of ways to do it and a lot of people can get they can get caught off guard and you can deter you can tell like, oh well they don't fucking mean this just the way they're acting you know but it's yeah. it's part of that balancing you gotta look at you gotta look at the person and be able to differentiate like are they trying to, are are they meaningfully saying something hurtful or hateful to to, to, to just uh, be a shit disturber or are they just are they saying just sort of what they're, yeah, I don't know, or it's yeah. trying to be funny or something? Like, like, it depends, you know. Like, there's a difference, because I think this might apply. There's a difference between, I guess, maybe 
saying jokes that are racist to make your friends laugh who might also be just a mix of different races or maybe they're not you're not you're not making these jokes because you want to cause harm to a group of people yeah and people would say oh well by by telling the jokes themselves you're keeping this thing alive that's evil and you know you can argue one way or another but i think if we all agree like okay we're gonna go ahead and say that we can tell these types of jokes and we're not gonna be offended by it like in a room you know, you and your friends. Oh, we like telling these types of jokes. We're going to say it. Maybe other people want to find videos of us telling these jokes because they'll laugh. And we can title it, it's these types of jokes. So if it's not your thing, don't watch this thing. But if you do, and then they're telling a bunch of crazy racist jokes, and you're getting offended by it, then I don't know. I don't feel like yeah. I don't feel like that should be shut down. You're it all creating comes, something for fun. It all comes down back to the, idea, the ancient com- comedic idea of everything is funny. There's nothing... Five days after 9-11, people were making 9-11 jokes. I think Gilbert yeah. Gottfried has a really good 9-11 joke, like re, like three days after, just, you know. Not, nothing is off limits, you know. Yeah, rest in but, peace. It, 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 Gilbert Gottfried and I mean, really died 9-11. Days, days after he died. Oh, exactly, right. you know. I'm sure some people do, you know. But it's just, it just... It, 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 it comes down to, to just that, you know, that everything is funny, you know. Yeah. And if, it, if someone is trying to say something to be funny... They're not trying to say it to be hurtful. They're trying to say it to make people laugh. And if you yeah. don't laugh at that, that's just not your type of humor. You should be able to acknowledge that just because that's not your type of humor, that doesn't mean they're a bad person. Mm-hmm. They're just doing something stylistically different from what you like. If you yeah. if you if you like every single thing Martin Scorsese puts out because you're a forty five year old man and you don't give a fuck about Disney movies, you're not going to say these fucking Disney movies are fucking terrible. Kids shouldn't be watching. It's like no, yeah. it's for a different audience from you, and you did just something you don't enjoy personally. And you just enjoy this other thing. It's the same with comedy. Yeah, you might not enjoy this style of comedy, but you shouldn't you shouldn't uh, admonish it or say it's bad when it's just trying to be funny because you can you can I'm pretty sure it's, it's pretty obvious when someone is trying to be funny but obviously being kind of just like super racist and hurtful and derogatory that's that's different from yeah. uh, uh racist or just like derogatory like joke you know you, yeah. you can tell it's it's like what 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 what, what, a, what a supreme court judge or some judge said about porn you know it's like you can't define pornography because everyone has their own different fucking whatever you know but yeah. you know it when you see it you definitely feel when when oh you definitely know when you pornography if if, if, yeah. if I oh god did well, this I don't fucking know, thing this one time Caesar. this one time I was getting a little off caught off guard looking at a for a second like, I thought you were gonna be like there was this one time I was just getting ran by someone oh no I was just looking like, at a tree stump but it kind of looked a little seductive yeah and if, it was out in a kid's park so I wasn't sure how to feel about that hey man is that tree a pedophile yeah you know. Like if, tree? if you're watching that old video of that lady like grape stalking and she falls out of it, that's like a funny haha video. That is, yeah. That's not pornography. But if you're watching a video that's close up on a woman's feet crushing grapes slowly between her toes and there's a camera and uh, uh, audio recording device close to it, yeah, mm, that's pretty deep would, in the yeah. fetish story and I would consider that porn art. That's a, you that, can yeah. you can tell you can tell when someone's you doing can, things for nefarious ASMR, or Nick, weird purposes porn, that's ASMR ASMR is a weird one there's I channels can tell, I can tell yeah what, what you're saying I was, yeah. say, I was gonna say there's channels that are dedicated that's like uh, 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 Olympic women's gymnastics uh, 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 long jump or pole vaulting this year and it's just a close up just on their asses they're running up and doing it and they land and they're standing there and stretching you can just it's just right on their ass it's like oh you know why these people are watching these uh-huh, gymnastic uh-huh. events it's not so they can practice or look at their form and be like okay I can adapt that to my style and wait no they're looking at it to jack off to spandex women which is a, I mean, but would you say that that should be censored I'm spandex women yeah I'm 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 not no. saying that I, I want that to exist. You know? I'm not saying for nefarious reasons. I'm not. I but guess yeah, I'm getting a boner. You saw when he was saying that he was just like shuffling around a little bit. He's like, no. Oh, I guess I'm not shit. saying there's nothing wrong with it because it exists and you can find it anyways. I'm okay. sure on like the Olympics website or wherever you can find it. Even from like the most current website, you know. But just like the the the, the, the fact that you're <laughs> clipping, <laughs> clipping those things together and they're each sequentially played in this video, and you can look in the comments, mm. you know, time stamping and talking about the same with the, these 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 clues, these red flags, you can see and just, you notice like okay, this is for for this purpose. This isn't for this isn't part of the sport. Yeah, <laughs> this isn't would, for the love of the game. I would say that, that maybe like not on paper, but just kind of like as a community or just. Loosely, we can say that there are kids' content, and there's like mature, but it's not like 
porn. It's not really supposed to be sexy. It's just kind of like some swear words, some violence. But then it's like this in between part and then porn, right? You get you get Spider Man and Elsa getting injections and whatever and that type of weird Brad Ethan Bradbury type shit, you know? Yeah. Like like like, like I think Instagram exists in that before porn space. Like it's all a lot really close. Yeah, it's to like porn. Yeah. 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 It's barely allowed. I think anything is allowed on Instagram, right? No, or not the, everything. No. Oh, tw- anything is allowed on Twitter. Nude. Twitter, Twitter allows anything. Twitter's cool, yeah. If you see Rule has a Twitter link, you definitely check that out. <laughs> Just real quick. It doesn't take that long. <laughs> yeah. Experience. Open up like your browser. Experience. Do not download the Twitter app. Open in my browser. Oh, yeah. There we go. Clear history. Open in media. <laughs> well, I have my... I mean, it's my phone. I can. I'm not going to play the history on my phone. Hey, man. I got the VPN. I know, you know, you know, you know. Uh, yeah, Nick, you could be looking at porn from Denmark that someone uploaded. I just wanted to. Like, yeah, bro. Straight down. What are, what are these fucking Italians up to? What are they into? This oh, you know here? what they're doing. That's spaghetti. Oh, hey, it's spaghetti. Oh, it's fucking, hey, All this, fucking racist. You see, someone's going to get this later. Let's race the way you... <laughs> you know, it's interesting. Is there like an Italian fetish? What, pasta? I mean, that, that's their fetish, but is there a fetish for Italians? Probably, yeah. You got puffy know. nipples. You really hear about it. Well, you know, there's, there's very niche. I'm sure there's, I'm sure there's, you know. <laughs> no, I'm not going to finish. <laughs> no, what, 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 say yeah. it. I'll, I'll finish later. later. <laughs> there you go, yeah, I'll finish yeah, we'll, later. We'll help each other finish exactly. later. Yeah. Yeah. When the perfect trifecta. Yeah, I yeah. know. Nick I can and Jack me off, I'll Jack Stuart, 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 Stuart Jack Nick off. And now, yeah. the only thing I'm worried about is my dick, if Nick can reach over there so he doesn't have to bend down too much. It's no, here's, small. No, here's what we're going to oh, do. We're, okay, yeah, I we'll see. each put our left hand, we'll each jack each other off their left hand. So oh, we'll do and Stuart, that's the, your right hand. Yes, you'll get me right. And then with our right hands, we'll do the ball. Oh yeah! Oh. No, you'll, no, you'll come oh, here, yeah, Caesar. Yeah, you go, yeah, 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 yeah. This is like okay. we'll, we'll get a whole fucking new type of experience Can we here. Make statues of ourselves like this, but put them like you know just around a room, and we no should... one really knows why. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it should it'll be. It'll be like a uh, Resident Evil puzzle. Like, yeah. figure this out. It should yeah. be statues of us just making out, and then we'll just put those somewhere. But our heads will be so turned into each other, you can't tell who it is. So you look at it when the statue, and someone comes over, and the person looks at them, and they're like, "Oh, that's an interesting statue. Who is it?" Oh, ah. You see, it's two beautiful artists that I really love. Mm-hmm. Me and someone else, but I won't tell you who it is. Uh, you know, and then they'll leave. The, they'll say, thanks, but I got to run. I forgot I had this thing. Yeah. I got I They'll really look at you like, you're all crazy. And then and you'll say, they're no. crazy. They're the crazy you ones. Click, lock the door. No, you're not. No, you're here now. We're going to we're gonna have dinner. I, I made lobster bisque. Lobster and you're bisque. going to sit down and have my lobster bisque. Mm. You know, it would be as awkward that as that scene of that movie you showed me yesterday, Fargo, oh, yeah, yeah. when uh, Maggie, Margaret, Maggie, Mar- Ma- Ma- Margie, Margie, when yeah. Margie comes to that place to visit an old friend, and this guy's oh, just yeah. so fucking lonely after his wife died. And he tries Mike Amagita. <laughs> That's his name, That's Mike Amagita. So. Yeah, yeah, that was so like, oh, I feel yeah, bad for this it's guy. just you, everyone know, or even if you don't know, you just you know that feeling, just like that old, just like hey, you're just mm, you're mm, up to your, <sighs> just mm, you, you 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 fucking you horny dude, you know. There's only one way horny 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 older men can get her going. They gotta call on the old thing on the phone, but uh-huh. it's dinner somewhere, and then you know, let me sit next to you. No, don't touch me. You know, yeah, it's, I Fargo is a very good movie and a good show. Yeah, that's what I was confused, because I've heard that that's a good movie, but then I heard it was a good show. It's both. And then I was, okay, so it's both. The movie came out in 96. It's a good movie first, oh. and then a good show. And then a very good, I haven't seen the show, but the movie is very good. I would, I would, I would watch Fargo again. The show very is interesting. Very if you have Hulu, you should watch it. It's good shit. It's if got four use... seasons, each season is ten episodes. Easy. And that's the sponsor Ooh. of today's video. Got, yeah, right. Hulu sponsors right. Fargo. No, I was hoping Fargo. Fargo would sponsor us. They would just shoot us a couple dollars from the production company to talk about Fargo. Yeah, from the drug mules up in North Dakota. Oh, yeah, def. Oh, Speaking yeah. of drug mules. Oh, wait, yeah. no. I, that article's on my phone. Damn. Oh. So I, I that's, and that's that. right there. That's you. Yeah. Right there. You people, you are Caesar's phone right now. It was an article about some drug lord that they had captured mm-hmm. and that he was going to have a trial in L.A. Is he yeah. a, a Mexican drug lord? Yeah, I mean, somewhat. Like some, some <laughs> he's high, in LA, so yeah. Some, t- some high bullshit motherfucker. I don't know. It was like, oh, oh shit. It's Chapo Jr. I don't fucking know. But uh, it was interesting to talk about. That was a perfect segue for it. Mm. But I, I didn't email. Because this, this whole podcast was done on a whim, and that was the last thing I forgot to do. Gotcha, yeah. gotcha. Okay, okay. 
And yeah. uh, it sucks, but it's okay. Did, did, you, did you know anything else about that off the top nope, of your head? Nope, because I didn't read it. I wanted to read it Damn. fresh on the podcast. I should always read it beforehand, you know? I'm just going to little bit of curse my knowledge, you know, to talk about it. No, because it's always planned, damn it. Well, yeah, but planned is just you should have read it before. This <laughs> wasn't planned. No, because all before, every time beforehand, I wouldn't read them. But it was already planned out because we would be like, on this day, it's going to happen. Because that's when we said it would. Now, in... Okay. Yeah. Yes. Okay. You already fucking know. It's <laughs> <laughs> not part of the plan. <laughs> and now I'll read him before Ed. Oh boy. We're having a good time. We're having a jolly time. How long have we been going? We're fuck- Don't fucking worry about how long. Well, because you know, if it's, is this going to be a short episode? Is it going to be a full, is, is, is this gonna be a full length episode 12? Damn, right? you just want to kick us out already? Or well, what? I'm just saying. It's, I, I don't know. I don't know if we're going to do a, do a shorty or, or a regular. Or a, I, I think we just meandered and then I'll, I'll if, if I need to, I'll cut it short if it's like whatever. Yeah, we'll, we'll see what happens. Well, it sounds so. like you want to end it now. We can end it now. <laughs> no, I'm like, no, I don't want to end it. I don't know how long you're going. I don't know. For good, what time is it? It's, like, it's fucking uh, 6.25, baby. Okay, we've been going on for like 40 minutes, something like that. No, that's pretty good. A little good. less than 40. Yeah. We can go a little longer. I think that's all right. What time is it? You said 6.24? Yeah. I was saying about this earlier. I don't know if, uh, if it's much of a fucking story now, but uh, a while ago, this guy made a, 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 a trumpet app for, for tele, telephonic devices to, to practice trumpet and do scales and shit, you know. Oh. And it was called like, uh, it was called like Trump Tone or something. And, you know, Donald Trump, being the, the lucrative businessman he is, he, of course, uh, sent his lawman after to sue this man <laughs> for using the Trump name huh. for his uh, uh, for his services. And I think it, the, some, it was a, a legal battle that went on for about the, around a decade, I think, maybe. Okay. But eventually, this, this guy who made the app, he represented himself in court. Because I, I believe this is probably a fucking easy case to represent yourself for, like, you know. Yeah. It's not much. It's, Hands down. It's pretty obvious. Like, no, I, why would I? Why would I use his name for it? There's what? Well, this is this big common sense lie, you know? Yeah, yeah. yeah okay, he course, himself. Right. I'm pretty sure he, he he won the lawsuit, and you know, yeah, it's it just goes to show, you know, if you're if you're even a, a, a smarter, just a little bit smarter than the average idiot, you can you can get away with, you, know, you can win a lawsuit. Yeah, I would hope so. I know that representing yourself like. Uh, for a speeding ticket may or may not work out the way you think it would. Yeah. But, you know. Yeah, that would be a rough one. I can you, see If that. you are making apps and their names are like like the Biden app, you know, if you have to, you could probably win that case. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I can see that. Yeah, I don't, I don't, know, like, yeah, I don't know if Joe Biden is particularly uh, preoccupied with apps. <laughs> I don't know what faculties are, are available. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if he has much manpower on that specifically. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's that's very, interesting. Have you heard about his his uh, one of his sons is kind of having his like I'm gonna piss off daddy phase. <clears throat> oh, he's a hundred by this was a hundred. Yes, yeah, yeah, he's, he's been there for a while. I guess just, oh, doing, okay. just doing crack and just filming himself doing crack and okay. weighing cocaine on scales and just fucking hookers and yeah, yeah it's very uh, obvious collusion with the Eastern European governments. Oh wow. I think, yeah, yeah, man. Because he's like the, the son of the president. That's huge, actually. Yeah. 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 I, don't, I, don't, I don't think Barron was doing shit like that when Trump was in office. Yeah. No. But then again, Barron is like the, what, 13-year-old? Yeah. Dude, yeah. He's he's exactly. He was, that, he was just that awkward kid, you know? Yeah. Do you think he's going to have a, a normal life? He doesn't seem all fucked up. Yeah. He doesn't seem like he's doing anything with his life. Yeah, he just seems like he's just like, I'm trying to live, you know? My dad's a fucking fuckface. Did you hear that his, uh, Trump's wife died? Ivanka 220 Trump? Ivanka? Yeah. yeah. What? She died of COVID, I believe. What? When? Uh, Recently, right? Yeah. Because I think I heard, about the, uh, I heard about this uh-huh. story, too. I think uh, Joe Rogan was talking about it on the podcast Tom Segura a little bit, that he had mentioned yes. that Trump was single. I was like, single? What? what the and you fuck? saying that, that definitely confirms it. I was like, holy shit. Which is funny, because I'm not there yet on that podcast, but when I drive home today, I'll, I'll get there. But yeah. It's... She's dead. Mm, yeah. It seems a little interesting because yeah, they weren't yeah. on good terms anymore. That seems, yeah, it seems, uh, it seems a little. Uh, oh yeah, him he wants to run again for president. <laughs> yeah, his wife and him. Did he whack the bitch? Is what I'm asking. <laughs> I mean, uh, <laughs> it's this. It's hard to say, but I don't know. And Maybe. I'm just asking questions. Damn, I'm, just, I'm just asking questions. <laughs> Boy, FBI, take that's this. Uh, one, please. Oh, that's a very interesting. Hmm. Yeah, All spicy. Right. Could we be the origin point of this new uh, controversy? This will be the thumbnail where we talk about Trump. Yeah, this will be big Trump being like, you're right. This can be the thumbnail. You know, doing this this Trump face. I did not kill my wife. (laughs) (laughs) Define kill. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, man. She died of COVID. 
I might have had COVID, but I did not give it to her directly. She gave me my workspace. It might have been her. I'll just get a lawsuit for this. That's all right. I'm saying. I'm just asking questions. I'm saying, I'm just yeah, saying. it's all just theories, guys. Just give it a little pergunta, man. Yeah. A little pergunta, bro. A little pergunta. God, I have to fucking pee again. I it's also okay. got to fucking okay. pee. Did I not drink enough water? I haven't had a pee. Did I drink once. a lot of water? Nick, you go first. I had you, also the cocktail. You go yeah. first. I'll, I'll, I? I'll keep Stu entertained. Yeah. All right. I know you got to go. This is like I said, this was on a whim. And I know when we record a podcast, oh, yeah. I don't drink that much water because I know myself and I do it in the bathroom a lot. I see, but I see. Since this wasn't planned, I was just drinking a shit ton of water. I'm like, all right. Because I like to stay hydrated. Yeah, it's good for you, you know? No, honestly, it was pretty hot. I haven't been here for a summer in a while, and it was pretty hot. So that video, you'll definitely see us be very wet. Yeah. I don't think I'm really in it too much, but I do hop out like I do in some of these videos, just pop up. Yeah. Yeah. And now you're in the podcast for sure. That's cool. Yeah, yeah. This is the third uh, you've been on? Oh, yeah, yeah. I think third, so. Third, fourth, one of those two, I think. I think it's the third one. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll definitely get you on every couple episodes for sure. Yeah. That way it's not just me and Nick the whole time. Although the idea of... Let's be honest. Uh, I don't like the guy. No. Oh. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. I love him. I love him. But the the, the idea of um being able to like do the Jamie thing, pull up you guys' articles and stuff. Yeah, I would love that. That'd that, be great. Like, but that's one day. Yeah. Oh, thank God. I can't hold it anymore. Uh, I'm back. Uh, Jesus hey, Christ. Every- sorry, guys. Hey, everybody. This is the second entry of my video Diary. <laughs> Nick, uh, can you pass me that? <laughs> what? This is your socks? Sandal? Yeah. Uh. Are those Batman sandals? <laughs> no, they're fake uh, Jordan sandals. Oh. <laughs> this is the second entry. It's my video diary. Second entry. Second. Video diary. <laughs> Today at high school. <laughs> <laughs> Jeremy said to me he was not taking me to the winter for my MR. He was taking Jessica. Oh, God. <laughs> and I went to Jessica at lunch. And I said, You fucking bitch, you took Jeremy from me. And she had the nerve to slap me in the face. That's pretty savage. So I went to her fucking house. Mm-hmm. And I know her dad is on fucking welfare. Oh, wow. <laughs> so I knocked on the door and said, hey, let me suck your whole man Jesus. <laughs> Long story short, I'm pregnant now. <laughs> and Jessica has a new sister. But the welfare. By dad. me. Did you did you try to get, extract money from him? What the hell is it talking about? <laughs> I extracted something from him. Oh, man. Oh, never mind. I gotta Jesus. go. My parole officer is calling. Oh, fuck. What are you guys talking about? Nick, set up. What are you doing? This ain't the fucking 15-year-old girl's birthday party. You don't have fucking... Who the fuck was she? Who are you guys letting fucking in my goddamn house? Who the fuck was that broad? Do you guys watch Rick Glassman's podcast? Who? I like Todd Glass. Todd Glass is cool. I like snorting glass. Oh. Well, Rick Glassman... (laughs) I mean, that... I'm not going to joke today. It's it's, it's been a cool time. Kind of burns. But, I mean, so... uh, I don't know. He does this thing every now and then. Will he, like, animate random people just coming into uh the podcast video to do random things and it's pretty funny yeah so how about that that's what that was <laughs> that's i guess that's what that was yeah yeah i don't know <laughs> Fuck, i came in at a weird time i don't know what's going damn on damn caesar you miss whenever you're not here we do the best shit we do we make the best bets whenever that's you're what i like to say when not you're not here room. but oh, yeah you know. i can guarantee whatever you guys are saying when i'm not here is not as good as i'm saying when you're not here yeah, I guess Stu, so. Stu, you're, you're here the whole time. Can you d- deny? Yes or yes? I, I forget. I forget how good... Or actually, I really forget what me <laughs> and you I forget. About. But I know I made you laugh earlier, last time too. I can, I can remember what, what I said That's then. true. There was I don't a remember what that was about. I don't remember what we That was about, about Howie's, that. Mandela's, friends. But, but before that, talk. before when you were out of the room the first time, I don't yeah, remember what we were about. Oh, yeah, that's right. Oh, I remember. <laughs> I remember now. You'll like that later. Yeah, yes, yeah. Yes, yeah. That's if I even listen to this podcast. No. Oh. Ooh, what? That's right. I don't listen to the own podcast I'm on. Damn, of course you're I don't. Fuck face. I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. I'm... Don't look at me like that. Oh jeez. I, I believe I'm probably the one who watches it the most out of the three of us because I have to no, I, I, do uh, the first and then the second pass. Right. It's of two. course. <laughs> it's two count. Of two passes. Yeah. Three. Number three, my lord. Number three, my lord. <sighs>
Anybody know where that's from? Comment down below. <laughs> yeah, that's true. So I think a lot of people would know. <laughs> yeah, so you like, would I, think. I think, I think, I think most people will know. Maybe. Who says? Uh, Nick, how do you know? Can we interview huh? a child? I want to know what memes they know about. Yeah, if his, mom, <laughs> if, if his mom's here, I guess. Because <laughs> that'd just be weird. How can you pick up your son and or daughter to be on a show with three guys in their 20s? <laughs> God. I imagine them just kind of standing like at a podium that's made for them. <laughs> yeah, let's get a new board in here. Let's see what they have to say about life. <laughs> I think people... Yeah, I'm all about it. <laughs> let's get a child. I think, I think people... Um, because of how the internet's so prolific, I think kids and adults know about the same memes, basically. Stu, why don't you why don't you just take a C for me right there? Right there? Oh, yeah, right take, there. A oh, take a C. Take a C, Stu. I know I've been trading memes with a lot of uh, <laughs> accounts that weren't really above board. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Do I think they uh, kids, little children, and adults? They know cursory memes. They know they know somewhat. They 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 know the top ten percent of the meme iceberg. Yeah, so they would maybe know about no. Shrek. I don't think kids and most adults know about Howie Mandel yet. Yeah, so I was a kid when I found out about Shrek. That's when the movie came out. <laughs> it's just a different Shrek. context, you know, but... <laughs> I still can't spell Shrek. It's something to say about the American school system. Yeah. Yeah. And also, yeah. And also how, we, how we treat immigrant children in, I was in an, America. I was an immigrant child. I'm not now. Oh. <laughs> I'm an immigrant adult. <laughs> but not now. <laughs> the way you said it, you, you're like, but not now. You know, you're just like not, not like worried about it. You sound like you had like the biggest weight taken off your shoulders because you were so proud to say that. Not right now anymore. You know, she has her green card. It's she has her green card. They needed something. He's fucking not worried about that shit at all. He is legal as fuck. We did not question why or how. He's legal fuck. as fuck. We did. We were two for one. A Canadian made, uh, married a Mexican, and that that just kind of works in the eyes. Of the law. <laughs> did, did, yeah, man. Neither of us are from America. No matter where they're born, it's just kind of the law of equality. Just kind of right in the middle. They got all of it. Dang! It's a Venn diagram, but they have they have all three sections of it. Yeah, yeah. If uh... <laughs> damn, that's that's kind of crazy. America is like the Canada of Mexico. Yeah, and the the weird thing is, my, my cousin asked me like, or no, I forgot how this conversation went, but here they call this part America. So I think they're like telling me like, how do they refer to the continent down in Mexico or something like that? Because I think they don't call it. Oh, yeah, like North and South America? Or? Yeah. I think they're yeah. just like, yeah, we're, this is where Mexico is and South America's down there. I don't think they reference North America. Yeah. Really? I don't know. I would have to ask my cousin again. But this premise is funny. <laughs> and if what you know how fuck? it actually works, please comment down below. Like, this is South America, here's Mexico, and there's all that. Yeah. Yeah. Seven, the seven continents and all that. I think they don't want to reference that they're attached to a continent that isn't named after them. That's like the middle child of every family that everybody just forgets about. Yeah, Solidor. we don't. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. Huh? Solomon. That, that, that entire horizontal, that entire latitude of ocean yeah, just, between Brazil and America. Just. It's Meg. It's, yeah. yeah, it's just, uh, it's, it's in the, ba it's the basement for a reason. We don't go down there too much. We don't worry about what it's happens Meg just without there. the physical abuse. <laughs> once, once we get a leak or some sewage starts piling up, then we'll take a look at it. But after that, yeah. Just about to fucking go into another problem. That's cool. Yeah. You see a lot of uh, Brazilian people on like weird streaming apps. And I go on there sometimes. They're, you know, it's just like I see a lot of weird Brazilians on, on Pornhub. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you do. What are, what are these apps you're talking about, Stu? What kind of apps are you looking at? Um, the weird Brazilians. So this is this is one really niche. Well, it's not really a niche app, but it is a weird, like, obscure app where it's, it's called kick it's like a messaging app mm -hmm. oh i've heard of kick mm -hmm. yeah but they have a live thing and the cool thing with the live thing is all, ki all kinds of reckless things can happen there and have and i've seen it and i'm like oh well this is something that'll bring me back to this app but like, yeah. what have you seen um a lot of a lot of real quick real quick two or three frame nips yeah and it's it's kind of the thrill of the chase at that point. Do you, do you, do you know about kick or have you only recently discovered kick i only just dis i discovered it because uh, one of my friends told me about it, and then I was when? like, okay, oh, like, oh, God, like, I don't even know, it's too long 23, ago. I'm 27, so four oh, years ago. Okay, okay, yeah, sounds about right, okay. All right, so there's that, and I used it for a little bit, but I found out that there's, like, groups, and some of them were furry groups, I'm like, oh, okay, cool, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do this, it's cool, I don't gonna know what this. be a furry? Yeah, well, not be one, but talk to them, because oh. I kind of like the fandom. 
and would like to know more about what goes on and what this is really about from actual people. But not actually go meet them in real life because that's a little weird. You sound like you're one of those guys that like, I only, I really like the potato chips in the bag that are all just flat. I really like those ones. The really crunch the ones? Yeah. I do like that. Oh, yeah. You so sound, whatever connection that Because the way you're talking, it sounds like you're one of those guys. I'm like, oh, all right, well, that's yeah. the best part. Hey, shut the fuck up. What I do like about? that part a lot. <laughs> With Takis, it's insane, dude. It's like mainlining a Taki. But anyways, <laughs> and then, I, then I didn't use it for a while. And I went back on, and then they had like the live thing, and it was a bunch of different stuff that adds all of a sudden too. Yeah. Jeez. But yeah, that's an interesting place. <laughs> Caesar, do you know what? Do, do you, you know much about Kick? Do you know more of the? The only thing I've seen from Kick is like uh, the porn, because I follow a lot of porn on Reddit, and people are like, and they see pictures like, "Here's my hot ass girlfriend." Like, if you want to see more of her, like, go get us on Kick or something. They yeah. either Kick me there. I'm like, it's just right, K, so this K, is, K, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm just yeah. like, oh, this is like kind of like some OnlyFans bullshit. I'm like, I'm not fucking don't worry about. That. No, it's a messaging app. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm not so, about to message so, someone for this fucking girlfriend's tits. What's what? That's so fucking weird. I'll look at them. <laughs> If they share it, because yeah. they're just being a bro at that point, so we can see his girlfriend's titties. Let them, why not? It is weird to be like, message me at this, because I feel like they're going to try to like sell you. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. No, yeah, that's why I'm not bothering that. <laughs> only subscribed ever once in my life for an OnlyFans for this hot-ass woman that I would always see on Instagram. She was beautiful. All natural shit. I got into it once, and then I unsubscribed right away, because I found... One video of hers that someone had posted on Reddit. One. Yeah. And that's this, all you need. This, that guy was the homie. And I'm just like, that's it right there. Don't need any more. You're not going to pay you anymore, more. bitch. This one it's beautiful. Nice, nice. And that's the only time I've been able to find one. Because it's really fucking hard if you go searching for it. Like free OnlyFans Some content Some's easier shit. than others, I'm sure. Yeah, what you do, and let me tell you, all right? I'll tell experience you. right here, fellas. Let me tell you. What you do is you, I think, what is it? I joined like at a weird time where it wasn't new, but it was starting to pick up. So I was able to get, no, when I joined, you couldn't find other people very easily, mm. but then they started sharing, um, each other's like in her, uh, names or yeah, whatever yeah, yeah, yeah. and doing advertisements in that way. And then they came out with, oh, you can give a, I give out a 30 day free trial, whatever. And then sometimes on the messages, they'll give out like a year or whatever. But basically at a certain time, there's a lot of people giving out a free year, a free month. So I just have a bunch of accounts that I have free access to. And in those messages, they give trials out to other people that they know. So by a roundabout way, you can eventually stumble upon somebody who uh, is sharing somebody who you do want to see. And then you can get like the 30 day free order. Huh. Yeah. yeah. So you just have to subscribe to different free accounts and then just by reading messages. Yeah, there's no clear way to burn your way through that. Just... It's a little sad when guys talk about stuff like this, huh? Yeah. I didn't think about it. Uh, but I joined an interesting time. Yeah. I believe when I joined, you were still talking to the actual person who ran the account. Oh, um, wow. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. that was cool. So it was, like, it was a lot more uh, closer of a feeling, I guess. Yeah, it was. Yeah. yeah. Th this is all to say that... I guess you want to be connected to someone who see who you see your tits and their whole body naked, I guess. So just like, I guess, well, might as well. For some of them, we so, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, so some. when I... When, the way I know about cake is because uh, it was like <clears throat> summer between like eighth grade <laughs> and, fresh, and freshman year of high school. And that was when I was... That, that was when, you know... So back then, you know how like, Snapchat now is just like... It's it's used for just whatever like talking whatever, but it's like it's made it's a lot of it's used for just like corny fucking people getting together and just like trading you know yeah so kick was the precursor to Snapchat no oh, interesting that's right I wanted oh. to just like give me your fucking kick let's it, it talk let's fucking start sexing and shit you know that's that's yeah. that's that was my jam <laughs> in fucking the summer year between eighth grade and freshman year high school and man those were the times what that's did you talk to a lot of sexy those women were the I will say those were well, the times. Not sexy women at the time, at least, but, you know. I yeah. will just say those were the times. <laughs> because I, uh -huh. cause, cause at the time, it was still sort of new. So you you wouldn't have all the bots and spam shit. You'd get actual other people, and they were like, they were mm. looking for the same general thing. It's like, all right, well, this is pretty easy now. Yeah. But then you come back to it a year later, a year and a half later, when you're down on your luck and just trying to life know it. It's like, now, nah, now it's all just, now it's fucked. The, pool, the well is tainted, and it's all shit now. But yeah. for, yeah. for a time... Kick was the place to be back when back when I was on iFunny. Remember iFunny? I remember that. Yeah. Remember iFunny dude, season? Yeah, dude. I had I had a good account. I was posting memes for a yeah. while, and I had posted one meme that I, that just fucking blew up. 
like, like, like legit, cr- like like thirty some thousand views on there, and it just blew. I don't know what it's at. No, more than that. I think now probably. I don't remember. I you, think I, I deleted the app. Either way, I I funny was a big thirst trap. Yeah, I remember because oh, I was part. Really? I, I was part of that. I, I, I was part of and engaged in that trap, bro. Oh, I funny was a fucking place to be. Oh, I had a different experience with Kick. My experience was you came oh, in later. I'd imagine that's why, because yeah, when it was already fucking, it's like pe- people were already wise to the whole thing going on. It's like all right, well, now I now I can make some ads, put bots on there, and fucking you know I, scam I people. Because my experience was like we had, you could join a group, and then it was like just fifty people who were all like into the furry fandom. And um, a lot of them just wanted to sex each other. And I'm, like, I'm <laughs> yeah. here for that too, I guess. If that's what you guys do here, when in Rome, do as Romans. I wouldn't go into the groups. I would, I would meet people on like Omega and shit. Or just oh. off of iFunny. Or there was there was another app I don't remember. But it was for like hooking up. And I would fucking go off. Chatterbait? <laughs> no, that, that's that's cam girls. You don't think I fucking know about that. Yeah. But there was an app. And it would, you'd go to meet fucking people and I was like fucking 14 or 15 or fuck whatever. You just meet people? And yeah, it's like you're kicking and then we go from there. You get a kick and then you go from there. No, wow. Yeah. That sounds that's, like so super elite. That's shit. how it was. And then the same thing <laughs> happened later on. You come back to that same app a year and a half later and it's like it's all fucking guys or it's all fucking bots and the well yeah. is fucking tainted and it's like can't do this anymore. Well, it's a new thing. But now we're adults. We use Tinder and Bumble and still yeah. get nothing in bots. It's a new thing though with, uh, with their live. I mean, now this girl's just treading the TOS terms of service and it's like okay well, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna watch this for five minutes yeah you know. it's a lot Jack of Brazilian off. chicks yeah 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 <laughs> some of them starting yeah. only fans I'm like okay here we go the internet is a crazy place this is the new genesis of their where are you going account. Nick your mama's house and it's I'm getting some I'm getting some sponsor this video of water I'm getting some get it in you but yeah, no, this, I, I, people do, and by people, I mean men do, and by men, I mean possibly just me, burn a lot of energy in interesting ways that aren't very useful. No, uh, from what you've been saying, the whole podcast, I can't, I can tell. Yeah. <laughs> yep, it's right all over your face. Yeah. When he came in, Stu had his ponytail up, guys, you know, he looked like, he looked like a porn director with his button, I'm sure he was wearing. That's what I looked like, yeah. yeah dude, you had, you got the porn status of the guys like, we're gonna shoot it like dude. this, and I'm just gonna go for it. Dude, yes. That's the vibe we're going for. Nice. Yes, yeah, so we want. Stop fucking That's what each we want to obtain. No? All right. This sounds all about right. Three men in a room, Palm Springs, I walk in with a ponytail. With but camera equipment? One person in here is by. Mm-hmm. Can you figure out who that is? Who, yeah. yeah. Whoever it is, is going to be the glue. <laughs> we'll do heads up, seven up. We'll put our heads down and put our thumbs up. Whoever's by, put your thumb down. <laughs> okay, you caught me. No. <laughs> Oh boy, Caesar, do you mind if I take a double hit? Jesus, you're flying already as it is. I'm. It's a Sunday, you know. Having a good time. Productions are done. <sighs> yeah, I'll go for it, Nick. We're really just documenting a a a time in our lives. Uh, you know. Yeah, we kind of. Yeah, we just started. It all started when I was born. Oh God. Oh, really <laughs> you want to talk about your problems, Nick? <laughs> oh. Go for it. It all started when I was born. My father left me this treasury in the basement of our manor. Little did I know what it would contain. Hours I spent pondering the tomes and novels within, reading the inane writings of what I assumed to be, uh... What's the fucking word? Geriatric Stop. man. <laughs> Incantations inconceivable. Thousands. Scrolls written in blood. I did not know what they said, but with the help of a few tomes, I deciphered them. Incantations I read. And demons sprung forth. Should I be a voice actor? That was good. <laughs> yeah. That was good. And definitely, you know how some 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 uh, medieval games they just are somewhat long winded. Yeah, that's good. I, I, I was I was drawn from some <laughs> darkest Jesus dungeon. Fucking- <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Okay, well. <coughs> yeah, I was getting some darkest <coughs> darkest dungeon vibe. Very interesting. There's a lot of games of that genre that are really hard for me to keep track of. Dark ass dungeon. <laughs> dark ass dungeon. Dark. Oh, I meant dark 
Is was it dark as dungeon or <laughs> no darkest? darkest. Oh, yeah, darkest. darkest. Yeah. Oh, okay. Darkest dungeon is fucking crazy. Yeah, hard as fuck. That game is crazy hard. Yeah. <laughs> got it's like Dark Souls. You got to get comfortable with fucking dying and losing. Yeah, people. there's so much to that fucking game. When you there's so play. much. It's so hard. We should uh, we should record it. I have it on my laptop. I have it on my PS4. Oh, well, damn. Yeah, it's should, crazy. We should, we should just some Darkest Dungeon, Nick. Is that like a smaller company that made a a <laughs> no. Dark Souls like game? No. No. <laughs> no. Oh. It's it's like a no. It's a turn based. <laughs> it's a turn based type thing, and you have your party of four. Yeah. And you go and you outfit them with whatever fucking... You, you have your township, right? You start with your township and you come into fucking town. You're the fucking heir of this dude who has his manor. And you come into town and you got these other people who come on in this wagon because they're also heirs. Yeah. And you build up your fucking team and you have like this roster and you can pick four person teams. And each character has their own abilities and classes and their abilities are effective depending on different slots. So like a healer you'd want in the back row because their healing abilities affect the most in this row. And this person with a gun, you'd want them in the third spot in the row because it does oh, the most cool. damage here. And the tank person you want in the front. It shows you all this. So you put, out, load, uh, out for your team and you go into the fucking dungeon. You fight other like monsters that are like groups of four or whatever. And you have your fucking turn order you go in and you have to manage your like light source and your team's health and their stress because if their stress gets to 50 then they have like a fucking uh, a fight or flight thing mm -hmm. and they can either like get like a bad trait that makes them all fucked up they can come out of it with like resolve and get a good trait and then it's fine but then if it fills up again then they have a heart attack and fucking die oh okay, okay, okay. and you lose them forever <laughs> So it's it's one of those JRPG. Yeah, you get, yeah, get your team, go in, try to get out, and when you get out, get all the good shit, upgrade who you can, put so the, the people who have a lot of stress, you put them in the brothel to cure their stress. So you put them in the church. Oh. If they want to go to the church, they can do prayer, do flagellation, you put them in a bar, depending on what they like. And oh, okay, okay. some of them are like, we'll only go to the bar to reduce stress, or we'll only go to the church to pray, or only just type brothel. of shit. Yeah. And there's different classes, you can upgrade them specifically, and it's like, well, if that guy fucking dies, he's fucked, and you upgrade. You have a, a couple of different teams, like, oh, this is my main team, they'll go on my main missions, and these guys, I'll just use them to get materials and these low-level missions, and, you know, it's yeah. a big fuck, it's a big how to do, it's a lot of management. It's it's very interesting, if you can keep up with it, and you have the patience, and the 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 the, the will to deal with people dying, and fucking party wiping, it's like, well, this, oh, okay, I see, I see, this I see. mission is fucked, and all these guys are dead, time now to... Make a new crew. Let's go out again. Try to get something. No, no, that makes sense to me. It's kind of like a. Um, for me, I would connect it to uh, the army, Fallout Shelter, where or you send out people that you raised, but if they die, oh, yeah, that yeah. Sucks. Or maybe a more applicable term would be like a Pokemon Nuzlocke run, where you get yeah. this good Pokemon, and it's like, all right, well, fucking, I got I, this. I took them from the game dude. files. I go in there, I just strip out of the game. There's no more of this Pokemon. Oh, no Jesus more of that Pokemon. Damn. Right. Get rid of these fucking Wobbuffets with their counter. Wobbuffet with counter is a killer for Nuzlocke. Now that would be hard. Damn, dude. Pokemon. It's Damn. on the Pokedex and nothing's there. 91. 93. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's like, it's the same thing. It's like, they're fucking dead. They're fucking dead. Get outside. the fuck out of here. It's windy outside, folks. Yeah. Yeah. But the good thing about it is each character, they're, nothing is really special about them. They're each a class, and if you they die, you probably have another character that is that class, and you can upgrade them from then on to the lower yeah, yeah, yeah. to get them back to that same point. Like, oh, you're the newest guy, but you know, it's fucking it's just annoying. Yeah, like in Fallout Shelter, I would have some people who are already super dead yeah. that I'm just rotating through. Do you, so, if, so you, you, do you have do you have the stud or the mayor to have, the, that that has the high charisma and all the big stats oh, that, oh. That, that fucks everyone to have all the kids so they get the most stats from them? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I, don't I have the stud. You get the one. Got him in the pajama suit the whole time, twenty four seven. It's like, all right, yes. here's the breeding room. Get up there, Mary. Get up there, Jane. Get up there, Susan. Yeah. Got to get those babies out with those high stats. You know what he's talking about, right? Uh, you don't follow Pokemon, shelter? Uh, no. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. I always see ads for it, but I've never played it. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. You play it? Uh, I played a while ago when it came out, so I was like, yeah, I, I was into the fucking just, mobile games that just kill time, you know. Well, it's on PC consoles now too. It is. It is. Yeah, which is, on there, which is sad. Yeah. Well, I like I like what is it the Nuka Cola? Just forgive me for eating Nuka Cola, so I can actually progress through this game. Yeah. Or just the, the, the you can buy lunch boxes to get packs of shit, new characters and items and shit. And it's, yeah. It's it's one of those. It's a freemium game, so it's free, but it's like they want you to pay for the loot yeah. boxes and get rid of ads and shit. You no, know? I mean, I don't yeah. know. you can just open up the the game safe file. And get Yourself yes, yeah, it's on PC numbers. now. You can just you can you can fuck yeah. around. It's like all right, it's cool. I would pay for the apps. Uh, I, I always talk about it, but Union X Cross the Kingdom Hearts. I paid I paid a lot for that. And I was so addicted to it. Would you? What do you pay for? Uh, and it, just energy to jewels, play more. Or? Jewels, 
to upgrade shit. Uh, or... Jewels to upgrade some stuff and then spin again for one for a medal that I would want. Oh, like roulette's yeah. like a gotcha. But it'd be good because yeah. there'd be points where it was there you would get massive discounts. So I would get the jewels mm-hmm. and then I would wait. And then when those massive div- discounts came on that thing, exactly. that's when because I would already be grinding at that point too for jewels too. Oh, oh. So I would do that, and then I'll just get more rolls and stuff. Like on the city of Final Fantasy that I play on my phone, I was hardcore about it for a while. You know, around the time that I was playing Kingdom Hearts as well, I stopped on it and then got back on it. I really love it, but I don't play that much anymore because I just wait for things to pile up, stockpile up like diamonds and stuff. Oh yeah. Because I have a really solid team on here right now that has like really good shit. But I want better shit for them, of so course. I just gotta keep rolling for that. But that's why I don't check it for a while because last time when I had checked on, there was this massive update that was going, and the last time I had played, I had about seven thousand jewels or diamonds. I'm like, all right, I'm saving those for us. So when I get more spins from stuff, maybe a month or so, or a little more went by because I hadn't played in a while. I got on there. And I collected all my rewards, and I had about uh, eighty five thousand diamonds. Jeez, now. you gotta log in every day though for those daily rewards. They so stay so there. Oh, but you, don't, the, but you don't get the, the daily, daily so. reward is so low that it doesn't even. But matter. it builds up though. Oh, it's like fifty coins this day, and then hundred the next day, and then it's like five hundred, and then it's like one diamond, and then it's like well, two diamonds, and it's like but a spin. Seeing five that, it, whatever amount it was, wouldn't have amounted to the amount that I had collected. Yeah, you got like more than ten yeah, times where you started. Exactly, and I rolled so many times and I got nothing. I'm like, well, yeah, that's how. Gotta be. build it up again. Or if anything, you got one. But I will check more frequently now, obviously. But I don't yeah. like to check it. I like those things to build up. In that game, it builds up quick because they always give the players a yeah. lot of shit for free. Keep them like, coming. Right. In you get tickets buttons. too. Yeah. They have tickets so you can do draws as well. And I'm building those up. I've got maybe like 200 of those. So when mm-hmm. time comes up, you're like, oh, you can use tickets. I'm like, all right, spin that shit. Nice, nice. I'm really into <sighs> games like that. I, I got back into Clash of Clans too. So I'm trying oh, yeah. that again. Is that upgrading is that some stuff? Huh? Is that fun? Clash of Clans? Yeah, I played it a lot when I was in high school. Are you just getting friend. rated by super high level shit? I'm okay now, but at first, yeah, I was a lot like that. But I'm not okay. It's still bad because I need to upgrade a lot. That game is going to take a while. But it's the same thing there. They have a card in there now that always fills up with Diamond Duels and Black Elixir. So I don't even have to worry about it. I, it'll all just keep building up there. So sometimes when I get back on it, they're like, oh, you have three million of these shit. things. I'm like, all right, collect. Oh, damn. It's the best. The, the state of uh, <clears throat> mobile games is super weird nowadays. I don't play too many of them, but the ones I do play, I like a lot. Yeah, I love mobile games. The ones I played in middle school, or the nine, yeah, even in middle school, just like a long time ago, they were just like, they start, they were just games. Look. And of course, you could pay for just like to get rid of ads, just like maybe pay for a little shit, but it wasn't focused on it. It was still just like mostly just like a game you could fucking play. Yeah. And now it's just like all, oh, it's all microtransaction and gachapon shit, oh, yeah. fucking loot box type bullshit. People find ways yeah. to make money, man. You know, that's just how it is. <sighs> it used to be so fucking fun. Like, yeah, I used to be able to just play, like, there was a uh, game series called Zenonia. And there was like uh, there was like five of them. You can still download. I don't even know if you can download them anymore. I looked in my like uh, uh, list of apps I had downloaded before, you know, and yeah. Yeah. so many of them you can't get anymore because they just didn't support them because they stopped fucking developing, you know. Or, or like there was this one Dark Avenger that I fucking loved. It was like a three D top down. You had abilities too. It was kind of like sort of pseudo Diablo. It was so fucking fun. I played that shit all the time because it was a good-ass fucking just game. Yeah, just a straight-up game. And you yeah. could buy, just like, oh, buy this chest and get this new armor and shit, but you didn't have to. You just play the game and just have fun and just get yeah. shit from doing levels, you know? You don't know, have that anymore. I think the weird, the weird way that I play mobile games is I'll be interested in doing a specific activity and then just find a mobile game that is just that thing. Like, yeah. Like, for one, it was like, oh, I want to play... I want to... F- do some like sniping where you have to like compensate for wind and gravity. So I found a game that literally that's the only thing you can do in that game, and that's all I did. I played it for a while, and I think I haven't even spent like a couple dollars to unlock like the the like uh, the final sniper rifle you had oh, to geez. buy. Oh wow! Yeah, and yeah, just a lot of games where it's like this one specific uh, mechanic that I want to fuck around with, and I just play that for a while, and then I eventually just get rid of it. Is yeah. that still yep. going? Oh, oh, that's a good question. That, that would be a very. I'm pretty sure it is, but. Um. Yeah. It's Jesus. An hour twenty five. Hello. This is my Open. finger. There is Caesar, okay. and there's Stu. There's Stu. There's Caesar, and there's. It's probably not picking me up. There's Stu. No, you're very far. And there's Caesar. No, it is getting you. Just... And there's Stu. 
Well, then now I'm, yeah. <laughs> and here's me. We've been going on for a fucking while. Man. Yeah, I think we could. We started that like just as soon as we started this. Yeah. We can yeah. end it here, I think. Yeah, that was a good note to end on, I think, talking about mobile time. games. Yeah. You know, yeah. it's been a, when we started, there was light, and now there's not as much. I was hoping to get a little bit of that so that yeah, we've been going for a while. We got the boy here today, Stu. Yeah, He'll we'll be really. here for a very couple episodes, obviously. Let's end off on some music recommendations. Yeah, like we always do. Let's Thank actually you. do that. Let's throw out that's something that we've all been listening to, if anybody knows. I have, something. Yeah, I have some things I was going to bring up if I were to be able to find Right now, so. the only thing I have been listening to, because I'm a very big Oasis fan and they are my favorite, but I've only really ever listened to their first three albums. I didn't listen to anything uh, after the uh, after the release of, the, of their last one in the '90s because I was kind of just like I'm gonna I don't want to because I don't want it to ruin the magic because that's usually the change like you know around that time when their music goes in a little bit of, of the same direction but it's a little different so I was a little skeptical I'm like I gotta wait because I really love how the, the the way these three albums are but the the other three that I got that they have I downloaded the next three that they have as well one came out in 2000. 2000, then one in 2002, I think they one in 2008. So I'm very excited to listen to them. Mm-hmm. But yeah, Oasis, I've talked about them before, my favorite, go listen to them. It kind of feels like you're just like turning through like the, the years that they've been working. Yeah. Producing music. It'll be interesting to listen to that. Oh yeah. Um, well, I do have something that I genuinely was listening to very recently. And that is, uh, I mean, I do like listening to video game music every now and then. And I was listening to some Freddy Dread, oh, and nice. some of that lo-fi stuff kind of got me in the mood to listen to some old Nintendo 64, uh, Super Mario 64. Oh, yeah. The fucking, soundtrack. Fucking, yeah. Uh, uh, Beautiful. Uh, 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 Jolly Roger Bay. Is that what it is? Fuck um, in the water. What is it? Are you thinking of that one cave one, right? Shit. You're in um, fucking water, and you go in the fucking water. God damn it. Comment down uh, below if you know. Cave Dungeon is one of them. That's really cool. Uh, but the, what is it? Um, the uh, main title theme, the drum and bass in that is like really lit. It's it's oddly lit. Some of these tracks are really good for like the time and what they were producing this music for. Are the, is it the original version or the song the, the from the DS version? The original version. Oh, okay. It says it's specifically in nice. like 64. Yeah, yeah it's, it's nice. sounds cool. It sounds like trap, you know, very fast, cool beats. And uh, yeah, if you just want to vibe out of something, uh, go through that catalog. Yeah. yeah. Oh, uh, you got it. I just looked something up right now. This is the thing I fucking. Like you always do? I, no, not always. Just yeah, kind of so recently. Uh, <laughs> some, so, so I get a lot of music from my cousin Raymond. Mm-hmm. I probably got this one from him. It's a, it's a, it's a song called uh, Tessellation from the Mile High Club. Oh, I've heard of them. Yeah, I've heard some of just like uh, fucking, just like smoother, just like type of, oh Jesus, sort of vibey type shit, you know? It's, mm-hmm. it's, it's also very good. Also one I just saw there, uh, Matt Watson, of course, but he did a cover of a song called a uh, fucking Space Song. Who? Matt Watson. Oh, nice. Yeah. A cover of a song called By Space Beach song. House. Oh, all right. It's a very, it's another very good vibe track, if anything. After this, if you guys are down, we can smoke on the bowl. I'm like, and play it for you. We can move by our little beach house with a space song. Is this fucking cool. playing? You fuck, yes, you are. Shut up. Shut up, Matt Watson. Just kidding. I love you. <laughs> Matt Watson receives this. I love you. I want you. I, I want to meet you. I want, I, want, I want to shake your hand. I want to take you out for. I want, I want, let's get a cold mics. Let's get some mics, bro. Let's get some mics. They don't drink mics anymore, though. That's too what? sweet. They don't like the... No, they're talking mics. about on, on, when they're playing Sonic Heroes. Justin got some cold mics. They're getting ice cold mics. Oh, they were? Yeah, they're getting ice cold mics, bro. They're getting mic'd out. Oh, nice. Yeah, nice. bro, getting fucking mic'd out. Firing up that hook. Uh, yeah, bro. Out. Oh, damn, they be going at it. Let's get some mics. Fire up the hook. They haven't been firing up the hook, but, you know, I just, I just like that saying. It's firing up the hook. Maybe we yeah. can be with you guys one day. One day. Yeah, bro. We can get some ice cold fucking mics. Drink some Hennessy. Fire up that hook. It's a good time, baby. Sounds pretty cool. Yeah, Alrighty, yeah. guys, that's it for the episode. Damn. We're gonna see you later. Way longer yeah. than I thought it was gonna be. We thought it was gonna be a shorter one. Yeah. Oof. Fuck you. Oh wow. We right, love you. Go like and subscribe, motherfucker. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Mm-hmm. We would really appreciate it. Stu doesn't really love you. He's just putting that up so you can click the video. My baby, I would do that. Bye, Nick. Go turn up. Yeah. <laughs>